Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna make a zero carb crust pizza. This crust is made with just three ingredients. I have them right here. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make. It's gonna be low carb, keto friendly, and even budget friendly. Our canned chicken, we have some Parmesan cheese and then an egg. I have this little kind of dinner towel that I'm gonna try to just make sure that it's completely, completely dry. But um, already right now, this is what it's looking like. I've already tried draining, you know, most of it out. Um, I just wanna make sure that it's completely, completely um, dry because I do want a, a crispier crust. So if you just want a thin crust, and you don't care about it being kind of like crispy, then you don't really have to do this extra step, but we're gonna do it just in case for those of you that do want it super, super crispy, then you would be doing this. So let's just go ahead and, actually it feels really dry already, but I just wanna show you how you would dry it out, okay? So basically if you're getting it out of the can, open the can, just drain out the liquid and then put it into a kitchen towel. Okay, this is what I have on hand right now, so this is what we're using. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if anything comes out. And there's still a little bit in there. So this is what it looks like. Okay, kind of like a little dough. Let's go ahead and toss this out. Okay, so this is our chicken and then here we have our parmesan cheese and then we have a little huevito so just a little egg we're just going to combine the three ingredients now you can add seasonings if you want like if you want to add some italian seasoning garlic powder onion powder just to kind of flavor it so here i have my little pizza pan and then i'm just going to put my little parchment paper on there this is what it's going to look like just so you know when you make yours at home this is what it's gonna look like. Just go ahead and transfer it onto our parchment and we're gonna spread it out. So I want mine again to be extra thin and crispy. So I'm gonna make mine pretty thin. I can't wait until you guys see how this is gonna turn out with all the toppings. You'll never know that this is a uh, thin chicken crust pizza. And make sure your oven is preheated to 475 degrees. The last thing you want to do is finish mixing everything together and then you have to go wait for your oven to, to preheat. So we're kind of aiming for a, like a shareable pizza. I would say this is kind of like a medium sized pizza. Um, unless you're like really hungry and doing OMAD, like just one meal a day, then I think that you could mess this whole thing up. But, um, with all the toppings and everything that's about to be on here, I'm thinking this is good for two people. Okay, so let's go ahead and bake this. We're gonna bake our crust for about 10 minutes. Remember, it's at 475, because this is like a quick bake, and I can't wait to show you how this turns out. So our crust is done. As you can tell, it is now nice and sturdy. You can see the back, it looks beautiful. Got a nice, pretty color. So at this point, obviously we've had it on parchment. You can take it off the parchment paper if you wanna get like a nice, like even more crispy. Remember we talked about, um, like I like it to have just a really nice crisp. You can put it back in the, in the oven for, I would say like, another five minutes just to get it even more crispy if you really want that. I'm good with where it's at now. I feel like it's still gonna get a good crisp just as is with all the toppings on it. But at this point, it's gonna be completely up to you, okay? So I'm gonna keep the toppings super, super simple, basic, because here I wanted to really showcase the crust. This was made with a can of chicken, an egg, and some parm. So I feel like it's just a really great base for a pizza. It's also thin crust and zero carb. Okay, so of course we're gonna use some marinara. I usually try to go for like a low sugar marinara. Um, they do have some like keto friendly options out there, some that are not, that are still good. Like this one here has five grams of carbs and then one fiber. So it's a total of four carbs per half cup, 
which um, is a lot better than some of the marinaras out there that have like 14 grams of grams of sugar, which is crazy. Like why, why? Okay, so we're gonna start off with our marinara. I'm gonna spread that around. So beautiful, I love it. We have our shredded cheese here and we are just going to smother this pizza and cheese. So I think we're gonna do like double cheese, double pepperoni, just to make it look gorgeous. No bald spots, no bald spots, guys. We'll save a little bit for the top. And now let's go ahead and stack on the pep a roni. Okay, so you can even add like um, Italian sausage. I'm definitely like a meat lover's pizza because I love to have a lot of protein like on my pizzas. So that's definitely an option. So I stacked on the pepperoni. I mean, you're gonna obviously add as much or as little as you want. My goal here is to really make this look like a normal, traditional pepperoni pizza. Um, I'm even gonna top this with a little bit more cheese because I feel like it just looks really pretty when there's a little bit of melted cheese on top of the pepperoni. I think that this is gonna look really, really good. I cannot wait to show you how this is gonna look once we cut it. It's gonna look like a traditional pizza, so stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get this in the oven. I'm gonna put it in there for about another 10 minutes just to um, get everything melty because clearly everything's already cooked and we're gonna dig right in. So now I'm just grabbing my little spatula and um, making sure the edges aren't stuck because remember, I wanted mine a little crispier. If you don't want it super, super crispy, you can put it onto a um, parchment. I don't know about you, but I could kind of probably mess this whole thing up. I'm just saying, let me know. Could you eat this whole thing? How big is that? Like eight, in, eight inch, like an eight inch pizza. Okay, so let's just go ahead and cut a good slice here. It's nice and cheesy. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so ready to dig into this bad boy. I don't know about you guys, but pizza is one of my favorite like comfort foods. All right, guys, look at this deliciousness. Tell me that this does not look like a regular pizza. Let's go ahead and do the taste test. I'm so excited about this because tell me that this does not look gorgeous. This looks like a picture perfect pizza. All right, cheers. Let's go. The texture. Yes, queen. Mm. In my personal opinion, the way I made it, it's perfection. First put it on the parchment, then like throw it in without the parchment to give it that extra crisp on the side. That's just because I love extra crispy. Like if you take a look at this, like this part of the, of the crust is like, like super crispy. Cause for thin crust, I don't know, I don't know about you, but like, I don't like soggy crust, you know? So this, it just turned out like it's a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. And if you wanna see a little more of me, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, share this video and recipe with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or just kind of trying to make healthier food choices in their life. Thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my slice of pizza.